Hey guys, so this is going to be a different kind of video because I don't really have a particular topic in mind, um, informational anyway. It pretty much feels like I've covered a lot. Um, so this is just going to be a kind of a vlog on my experience with Kratom. I'm going through some really stressful times right now. New girlfriend, new girlfriend stress, you know, and all that great stuff. And the fact that it's a long distance relationship isn't making it any better and so I'm going through tons of Kratom just trying to keep my anxiety at a level and I'm running out and if I run out of that I am going to be in a world of pain again because for me personally if I run out of Kratom for more than a day I go through opiate withdrawals and the withdrawal is real. I mean, I get the fevers, the vomiting, the the chills, the the whole thing, you know, headache, body aching, and can't stop shaking. And so I'm afraid to run out. And but now it's the holidays, so no one's, you know, I mean. My vendor is not going to go to the post office now because it's like a, a line four miles long just to ship a package because of Christmas. So I thought I ordered an extra pound before Christmas to kind of get me through until January. And but I'm having to I'm finding I'm having to limit my amount, which sucks. So I have a secret weapon. What I do to make my croton taste better is I use this stuff. It's just like crystal light um, and little envelopes. What I do is I take the envelope and if you're just gonna toss and wash it, put it in a little container and um, put your kratom in there and then just sprinkle a little of this. It's gotta be lemon or lime. A little bit of this lemon lemonade stuff over it and it gives it a tart taste. And the acidic acid or the citric acid in the in the um, lemonade will activate the alkaloids better. So, and I use it in my tea. I'll put almost an eighth of a teaspoon. I'll, I'll use five grams of kratom, and then I'll put an eighth of a teaspoon of that crystal light on top and then boiling hot water, then I stir it up. But, excuse me. And it makes it so I can drink it and actually enjoy the way it, the way it tastes. It ta I mean, it gives it a nice citricy, citrusy taste in the back of your mouth and it doesn't taste like dirt, like croissant normally does. And I'm getting a lot of flack because a lot of people are hating on the fact that, you know, how I say croissant or the information. I do a lot of research and a lot of experimentation trying to make this channel useful for you and I don't lie to you I won't tell you a mistruth and my personal site I built a site and it was great but I couldn't find Kratom in the price range that I could afford that was quality enough for you guys because I'm not going to sell anything unless it's quality and I think what I'm going to do is just start off with one ounce envelopes um, for ten dollars you know just to kind of give you a taste of what real kratom can do and this is strictly from indonesia um might add a little thai in there even though it's getting harder and harder to get thai kratom because it's illegal there and i'm moving to the philippines and i just found out that the Philippines is legal with Kratom and they actually grow Kratom in the Philippines. It's not called Kratom, it's called Butmal or something. But I don't know, as long as I get my Kratom, otherwise I'm gonna have to pay international shipping to have it shipped from 
my guy here all the way to the Philippines. So basically sum everything up. I'm running out of Kratom and it's the holidays is under a lot of stress, girlfriend stress, and my magic bullet for making Kratom taste tolerable. So I hope y'all have a good holiday. Um, my holiday, we got snowed in. So plus with the COVID virus, I couldn't go visit my family because they're in the building I live in. There's four or five cases of COVID. So which makes everybody in this building have to stay quarantined. We're not allowed out of our units, which means my holiday was sitting in my apartment watching YouTube. <laughs> Merry Christmas to me. All right, y'all have a good New Year's Eve and I will try to think of some more content that'll be interesting and useful and helpful. Maybe I'll do some reviews of some different different types, different places, you know, like there's Kraken, Kratom, there's Phyto Extractum, there's Kratom King, there's Mount Kratom, there's a whole lot of different places you can buy online and I want to test it and see if it's as good as my stuff. So far I've not found anything as good as my stuff. I've had to you know, I ordered from this place called Mount Kratom because it was supposed to be close to me in Knoxville, Tennessee. And the shipping time was ridiculous. It was like five days and then we're in the same town. So because he uses, he strictly uses UPS instead of the U.S. Postal Service, which would be a lot cheaper and a lot faster. And it would go right to my mailbox. So I, I don't have to be aware that it's coming. But anyway, I hope you all have a good New Year's Eve. Peace out.